Dr. Lisa Goins with Couture Healthcare talking to you about labs today. Now, we talked about in our previous videos uh, why you should get blood work done and baseline blood work, and we also talked about urine samples. But today, I'm going to kind of go over swab samples. These are the fun ones that, that I get to do on you and you don't like. So, I apologize in advance, it's not fun, but this is unfortunately the only way that I can uh, get the sample that I need. Now, um, there's several ways that we can do this. Sometimes I have actual swabs and instant laboratory devices right here in the office where it will take me 5 to 15 minutes. Please understand, lab work will take time, and if you're coming in with what you think is a strep throat, a sore throat, or some kind of nasal issue or something going on that you think that I might need to swab and take a sample, you're going to stay a little bit longer during my visit. Most visits um, are usually 15 minutes, but lab work can take 5 to 15 minutes, so just be aware of that. All right, so here comes the first thing. You might get a little, this is one way to do things, and this is a one of the kits, one of the many kits that's out on the market that providers use. And uh, basically, what you're going to see is a very long Q-tip. Now, this, uh, the reason we use this is this right here has a cotton swab on it. And it is not contaminated, and we're going to contaminate it. So, this, can, this little Q-tip is either going to go up your nose and swab, or it's going to go to the back of your throat, and I'm going to touch your tonsils and maybe the back of your throat and some other little things, depending on what's wrong with you. Now, here comes the, the, the miserable part. Look up, breathe in, try not to gag or throw up. If you feel like it's just going to happen, try not to throw up on the provider. They appreciate it. Some of us don't always have extra clothes to wear, and it's unpleasant. It's, it's unpleasant for you. So... What we're going to do is we're going to stick this up your nose, we're going to swab, and then we'll probably put it into a container with some little solution, or we may stick it in a vial of some sort that already has some solution, and we'll send it off. Now, we may do the same thing for the back of the throat for a sore throat. The swab, you stick it in, you go back there, and if you don't have any tonsils, make sure you let the provider know, I don't have any tonsils, so if they see something else going on back there, they might need to swab that. And if it's not tonsils, it's something. Okay, so you need to go back there and do that. And then they'll stick it in, in their little container. They'll send it off to labs, stick it in one of these, they'll get picked up, and they'll let you know. And that's called a culture. Or they'll do it right in the office, and within 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the kit, they can say, yes, you're positive for the flu. I'm sorry, it's positive A flu, or B, or heaven forbid, it's one of the new strands that are showing up and we need to send you to the hospital for more follow-up. Um, or you just have strep throat and we need to do an antibiotic. So there's some other uh, things like that. So when you see this, uh, the whole swab in and everything, that's what we're doing. Now, um, if you have a little kid, um, they're going to have to sit still, and you, as the parent, are going to have to hold them because we don't want to injure them, but we also want to make sure that we get the accurate. Now, if you're going to fight and not want to do it, and then I can't get all the germs on my little cotton, then it's going to become negative, and you've wasted your money and your time. Okay, so... Be a big boy and a big girl, open up real wide, and let us get it real quick, and then go treat yourself, okay? So, because you are awesome at the doctor's office, and sometimes we have awesome things that we can give you for hanging in there with us, okay? Sometimes we can give you the good news is, you're not, you're not that sick, or you're really that sick, and we need to take care of you, and, you know, maybe we might have some coupons or uh, stickers or something cool that we can offer you. All right, so this is Dr. Lisa Goins talking about strep and nasal swabs and anything that a Q-tip swab might dig into, even a culture, and how that works for you and for me. And the lab results will come back. We can do them the same day, or if we send it off for the culture, it may take a little bit for it to cook in the lab and then get back to us. 
So I'm Dr. Lisa Goins with Couture Healthcare. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share with your friends, go to the YouTube channel, leave me a comment, or even leave me a question and I might do a video for you. All right, thank you very much.